All right, so uh, holy crap! Us. What is that? Whoa! Look at that Lexus. Nice. Catch that. <laughs> so we're. Uh, Grant just said, "Hey, Dad," and we go by. What do you call it? A mini bike. Uh, it's a X1 pocket bike. X1 little pocket bike. We're on our way right now to go pick it up. Yet another adventure after work. I'll let uh, Grant tell you about the details, the pricing, and all that stuff. One but mile. turn left onto Plainfield Naperville Road. Yeah, another adventure. We're driving about one hour to this place. One hour back. We got a bag this time. We're getting better at these adventures because every time we buy something, there's like oil. There's gas leaking all over the car, but this time, this time, Grant has a bag. I'm gonna open up that bag and put the motorcycle in there. So, because it's guess, so small. Uh, here's what our third uh, adventure. Or was uh, our fourth? We had Subaru, Porsche, go kart, and yeah. So oh, no. that's and, and scooter. And scooter, the so dude, fit. The dude that was going nuts, right? The little spring we're looking for. Yeah, and I didn't post that one, but it's it was still a funny story. I'll have to tell it some other time. And now here but. we are. You wanted a pocket bike, or you wanted an engine, because your engine on the scooter broke. It blew. All the engine mounts snapped. So I was looking for a new one, and my friend Justin, he sends me a link. Thank you, Justin, for a... Uh, $60 X1 pocket bike and it had the engine all it needs is a pull starter which we happened to buy a pull starter for the old engine not too long ago and so um, I give it a try I mean fairings cost a lot more than the you know $40 so itself. the guy wanted 60 bucks right brand new these things retail at how much like 400 400 bucks it's got lights. Grant's like, key. hey, even if I just took the engine out of it, put it on my scooter, and did something with the rest of the body for parts, it'd be great. But I think your friends wanted to. They want to. They all want parts for they it. Want they want parts out of it. They want the Which fairings. Cool. But want... guys, I'm gonna get this thing running, and I'm gonna drive it. This is how yeah. long since you've ridden anything on two wheels? Oh my gosh. Well, your scooter. Well, other than that, I'm talking oh, other about than that? Like, toddler days. <laughs> Long time ago, when your grandpa bought that motorcycle, and before that, I was your age, riding around. <laughs> Took my cousin's motorcycle without asking him. I feel bad. Sorry, if you're watching this. Thug life. I got stopped by the police. Wait, really? You didn't tell me that. <laughs> it's like that kid. Do jumping. as I say, not as I do, right? It's just like that toddler jumping out of the uh, cop. Uh, jumping out of the stolen car because he didn't want to go to church and running from the cops that was a funny video so anyway so um this, you find this guy or you get in contact with this guy after hearing about it from your friends you end up going to but you end up contacting him he says yep no problem deal i'll hold it for you we asked him could you meet us halfway he says yeah but later on this week I'm like, Grant, Steve will take 10 bucks less if we go pick it up because it's like an hour away from here. Yeah. The guy's like, I'll take, I'll give it to you for 40 bucks. No, no. Actually, I did something on my own and I said, I'll, I will pay you uh, $10 more. So $70 if we can go pick it up today because he said, oh, I'm busy with the kids and work and everything. And, uh, and then he, he replies back and he says, um, sure, that sounds good. You can, t I'll, I'll take 20 off and you can take it for $40. Whoa. I don't know why he did that. Sure, kind of lucky favor. day. All right. So, um, anyways, let's go check this thing out. Let's go see what kind of adventure we're going on now. And, um, hopefully we can get this thing started. You can get your engine if your buddy wants the parts. So right. give him the parts. If uh, or I don't know, I'm the ride of this thing. It better hold me. Oh, it will. There was this dude who was like 400 pounds riding a Caglari Daytona. That's like what Justin used to have. That really, really small one. 
It's got like a 32 cc engine. I don't know. It's the cheapest thing that you can find on minipocketrockets.com. But yeah, I don't know how the dude is sitting on it. But um, it's anyway, gonna be fun. Let's see what happens. Just rolled up. Gonna probably pick up a pocket bike, hopefully. Yeah. Wish us luck. 401? Is that, that yep, is 401. What's up guys? We just got this pocket bike. $40! It's mint. Everything's on it. It has the keys, everything. The horn is back there. I don't know if you can see it. Electric start. Um, electric start. It's got the mirrors and it has the chain guard, which I haven't seen on an X1 in a while. The speed gauge should work. Um, most of these it doesn't. It has a horn. Uh, turn signals, front, rear, di disc brakes. I have other replacement brakes for them and pads just in case they're all like worn out, which I doubt it. And the guy just wanted to get rid of it because you could tell he was moving. And we got a free scooter with it too. Just like uh, the friction drive scooter. But that's not what I'm gonna be using it for. I'm gonna see if I can take out the battery and use it as a replacement for uh, the old battery that he gave me which this is not safe at all the way that he put this in there um it was just kind of ripped off so i'm gonna have to use the solder one of my friends solder because uh it's that battery is kinda, probably years old probably yeah that. it's a 12 volt battery but i don't think we should keep it in here dad because the broken pull starter is in there and if that touches both of them it's gonna ignite and that will not be a fun surprise Very true. so I may just hold this in my lap and yeah so I'm excited we're gonna take it home put the pull starter on it and we're gonna try and start it up see if it needs a carb cleaning or what what's up you guys back day two uh, working on the pocket bike the X1 um, just finished up my McD's. Got back from baseball practice. Took off some of the uh, some of these mint bearings. As you saw in the last clip, they were off. The thing starts. I just replaced the carburetor, and uh, I'm gonna attach those fuel lines again. But new carburetor. Forgot to put on the gaskets down there. I gotta put that on, and then put some of the fuel that's in Tommy into it, and. Uh, See if she starts. Yeah. It works. No! All right, Alana. All right, just tune the carburetor. Gotta tighten the bolts on the exhaust because you'll see it's a little bit loud. Let's start it. Exhaust fell off, as you may have seen. Uh, and I'm looking for a bolt right now that I can use for it. And gotta tighten it. As you can see, right in there, that's where it's missing. I just, or actually, wait, shoot. Holy crap, there's no exhaust right there. Well, all right, um, yeah, okay, that's a big problem. I think what I'm gonna do is just tighten this bolt right here and then uh, call it good and then tighten the other ones. Um, but yeah, I mean, it should help. And I mean, if not, I can always put the scooter exhaust back on it and then save this for save this for later because it turns out that this isn't a real muffler it's just an exhaust straight pipe so i 
I know this has been a long jumble of videos, but pretty much what happened is I bought this X1 pocket bike for $40. Everything pretty much works on it, um, except for a few little things here and there. Um, like uh, I need to get a battery on it. Um, obviously the fairings are off, that's no big deal. Uh, I have to get an exhaust bolt because one fell off. Uh, and I just gotta get like the whole thing tuned, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and yeah, I mean, forty-dollar pocket bike. I honestly think it's the deal of the century when it comes to this kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, you'll see what goes on next Sunday because we got some uh, fun plans going on. Hopefully, you guys all enjoyed this video. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe.